Hello and welcome to the episode 356 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today we have previews, rehearsals, and a bit of magic happening in the studio. Let's start the episode with the 22nd of December 1962 performance that the Beatles gave for the continuation of their last residency at the Star Club in Hamburg, West Germany. One year later, in 1963, the Beatles were at the Empire Theatre in Liverpool for their second concert-only presentation of The Beatles' Christmas Show. As detailed in yesterday's episode, the concert was a kind of preview-slash-warm-up, featuring the Fabs and all the other bands that would have taken part to their first Christmas variety show. Almost the same story in 1964, with the second day of rehearsals for the Beatles' second variety show, another Beatles Christmas show, taking place at the Audion Cinema in Hammersmith, London. During a break, DJ Jimmy Savile interviewed the Fabs. Savile was in a perfect position, appearing as he was on the Christmas production and serving as one of the four hosts of Top of the Pops 64, a special episode of the show that the BBC was to air on the 24th of December, between 7.25 and 8.25 pm. Saville was filmed chatting with the Beatles for about a minute and a half, and the contribution, along with other archived material featuring the pubs, was included in the BBC special. 22nd of December 1966. Producer George Martin and engineer Jeff Emerick performed the clever trick on Strawberry Fields Forever during a 7 to 11.30 pm session at the Abbey Road Studios. The problem at hand was that John Lennon liked the first minute of take 7 of the song and the remainder of take 26. John had asked Martin to edit the two tracks together, but there were two problems. The two takes were in a different key and their tempo didn't match, take 7 being slower than take 26. When Martin pointed out to Lennon the difficulties, John simply commented, well, I'm sure you can fix it. And so they did. By a stroke of luck, when Martin and Emmerich matched the tempos of the two takes, slowing down take 26 and speeding up take 7, the key matched. The two tracks could be fused together and John could have the desired final version of the song. A new mono mix of the new version of Strawberry Fields Forever was created, with the edit audible after precisely one minute from the first cello note onwards. Onwards I'll go to with the production of new series talking about music. If you want to make it easier for me to focus on the production and create more and better episodes with video content, please visit www.simonmas.com support and choose one of the things listed there for you to do. Any donation is welcomed, but so it is any other kind of support, from social media sharing to positive reviews to constructive criticism. Thank you for being fab and show me your love. Let's close the episode with yet another press conference held by John Lennon and Yoko Ono in 1969. On this date, the couple, surrounded by the white posters from their peace campaign and dressed in black, met local journalists in Montreal at the Chateau Champlain Hotel. This concludes the episode, but fear not, there will be more to discuss tomorrow, including a… well… a hell of a Christmas party. You'll see if you're kind enough to join us. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love!